Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51 second round match between Mankiz, oh and Diamed, what a match this is. We've got Mankiz with Dark Elves, Diamed with Undead, two top quality coaches, could be CCL final material in terms of coaching, if not maybe it's the, maybe it's the Undead, maybe it's a little bit weak because they're Undead. Um, in the booth with me is Kalon, hello. Hello Jim, great to be here, thanks for having me, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you, sir? Great, yeah, really good. Uh, this Glorious. is uh, shaping up to be a pretty no, great game. We've got a, the, the Russians are having a, a, a go at each other. Uh, it, this is going to be a fun game. These two lads know each other defend. as well. Um, and yeah, it's going to be fun. Uh, it's an okay uh, undead team, uh, which is, you know, pretty much par for the course. Uh, both block mummies, which is pretty great. Has the mighty blow tackle, which is pretty great. Has the strength up uh, lad, which is also nice. And uh, yeah, overall, it's kind of fine. Um, and uh, but Mankiz's team is just better. It's got loads of cool stuff, uh, and it's elves, and he's got large stem. Uh, not a huge amount of TD for difference, which is really interesting. Oh, it's because he just doesn't have many players. Yes, yeah. So there's definitely a dicing is on the cards here. Yeah, it's actually a really it's a great net uh, undead team. Never mind, good. Like it's you great. Think? Yeah, yeah. Two block mummies is unbelievably good. Two two strength ups on the team and edge up on the team. Like so, you've got a consistent ball carrier, ball fondler, wrestle strength is nice, the tackle pommet, which is what you need to win chalice. Um, two dirty players, lovely. Um, I don't know why he's picking up on the. I have no idea why he's picking up hands. on my face. Oh, I guess he's like scared it. of getting, getting, sacked by, like yeah, the, the rackler. Yeah, the, the leaping rackler. Yeah. Two leap on the team as well. One on agility five and one on. Uh, <laughs> but there's an edge five leaping guarder, so yeah, is, yeah. <laughs> carrying it on that guy isn't really good. Um, so like, carrying on straight like, four is actually pretty decent, but carrying on wrestle is. Really good. But I mean, that's the thing, you're getting hit by the Rackler anyway, so I guess that's, it's just the strength four, yep. isn't it, is what he's thinking. Um, yeah, really weird though, like I would have much preferred the, either not re-rolling the pickup, mm. and like picking it on the edge for next turn, you know, like, mm -hmm. interesting. interesting it's so decision. deep as well, it's not like he has to worry about them. I suppose he could have just jumped through the line, but... Um, yeah, but then you've got a 136 pickup oh, next turn. Oh, embarrassing. So. Pretty weird. So, um, I yeah, I, I, rolled, no. I wouldn't have rolled. Um, now that I can see the screen properly, I, 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 I'm, I'm seeing why you uh, like this team. I think I actually had it confused with a different uh, undead team, but I think mm -hmm. they already went out. Uh, what I like as well is the um, ball recovery lad is really, really nice. Um, lovely piece to have. Put a lot of effort into getting that Oof. guy all of those skills and making him work super early eat. Oof. And he kind of had to eat it because of the reroll last turn. Right? Yes, yeah, that's a much better, much better hit, to, much better thing to reroll, isn't it? Than that. Mm -hmm. Do you think he'll foul here? He's got a loner, uh, well, like a, a journeyman lineman here. Only eleven players. That's the weakness of the uh, elves, isn't it? Thirteen for the undead. Only eleven for the elves. He, yeah, so he probably won't foul. No, because he can. I mean, he can only get three assists as well on armor nine. Yeah. Well. Could have got four, but yeah, he's not gonna. He's not gonna. Gonna be a lot better if he uh, w if it was the new rules and he was able to use his guard. Mm, if he's gonna smash this, uh, if he's gonna smash this, uh, uh, cool is pretty good. Rolling the full pal. Roll, roll house. And yeah. move him. Get rid of it, yeah. Outrageous. Bam. And make sure to give an assist to the tackle pommer. Fantastic. Yeah, that's really nice of him. <laughs> 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 Got to beach the ball, guys. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Oh look. So uh could be tricky getting uh, the sidestep. Oh no, it's not. He just no, that's not and... tricky at all. But it is tricky. Oh, we've got a Thomas T sidestep oh, in goes baby. another hit. He does. Maybe so should have moved this guy it. first, eh? Yeah, I could think have created so. a cage over there and then scooted off to it. I mean, he'll just dodge him off at the end, right? But well, he, no, he, he wants to. He wants to cage him. Yeah. No, yeah. You want, you yeah, want to yeah. cage somewhere and then punch him is what you want. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you want to punch this guy, not not fucking dodge away from him. But doesn't even get to punch him. Um. Uh, hello, Rick Baseman, and we are. It's basically the middle of the night, and uh, you're welcome, everybody, for our hard work and dedication. And uh, thanks for bringing it up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's nice. Me. It's nice to be appreciated. And. Uh, yeah. <laughs> proud, proud dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Thomas, buddy, I mean, I'm really enjoying having you part of this community and getting in on the jokes and everything. It's been great. Fair play to you. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Doesn't get the power this time. No, but uh, does give... Uh, uh, but it was only a one day, and uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, nice to be able to just put, you know, consistent pressure on, right? It's lovely. Mm. Consistent ball pressure. Mm. <laughs> wow. Pretty sure this is Thomas T that's playing. <laughs> Go fishes for a pow, gets it. Lovely. Gets it, yeah. Ooh, another big pow here on the witch. And kills oh! her. Do we see the apple now, Rackle? Yeah, yeah, apple this. Oh my god, apple fails. So there's a zombie. Oh. Yikes. oh, what a swing. Down to 10, up yeah. to 14. That means more fouling. It really does. I was just about to say, I probably... I'm I'm not sure I even would re-roll it, but then realising that it was against Undead, you do because it's dead. Yeah. And you don't want to give him more players, and then he just gets fully fucking punished. Yeah. That Ouch. Was the, that was the thing. Not making this a 3D uh, could no. have been possible. But I mean, I don't know how possible because he does have to protect the ball. Uh, no, it is. It's, it's it's tricky. Yeah, it's tricky. I think we might let him away with it. Yeah, it could have just had the ball back one square, right? For sure. And, and then if the ball's bad, ah, but then there's guard. Yeah, no. Okay. Mm, it does get the jump off at the at the end, which is pretty nice. And gets to tackle it on the ball as well, which is pretty great. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that one hurts. Yep. Wow. Can you see the can you see the pain that uh, <laughs> Nankis is in having lost that player? Yep. Well, are we gonna see no. Are we gonna mm. see a chain here or something? We could um, see a chain, guys. Hmm. We d we know that Miss Mankis does like to do the chains, and here he, he goes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Boom. Two into one. It's gonna be amazing, Two into guys. One. Oh, baby. Rerolls the safe block. Wow, wow that's very aggressive. <laughs> that is uh, very aggressive. In for the one day. Get some another one. It gets the full oh, block. <laughs> what a fucking dice lord! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is not Thomas T. Oh. This is not a Thomas T. Game. It's a oh. chunt game now. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thomas that T. Was, is is only chunt like with normal there. dice. <laughs> That's right, yeah. <laughs> Mankis' play has been elevated a chunter level with this. <laughs> that was fucking crazy. I mean, it was a really nice play, but it was all of it was... He you rolled know, all the dice. He did. It was unlikely for the, the chain to work. Oh, oh wow. wow. And it's... Uh, World Diamond is down to one reroll left. Yes. But, and... Um, Oh my god, and his ball carrier, his actual ball carrier, not this Ugh. idiot wrestler, his actual yeah. ball carrier is off the pitch, which would now be a great yeah. time to pick up on the edge four, wouldn't it, for that consistent pick up uh -huh. after the ball sack. But he can go smash this guy with agility, with strength four, so that's kind of nice as well. Good mm. foot, son. <laughs> no, that's dead. Hmm. Okay. So, big pickup. Yeah, that's yeah, the thing. The edge four shoe hands would have been really good, but he got sniped. He got sniped by a random tackleless blitz. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's no other way of describing what happened. That is exactly it. Mm. It was a random tackleless blitz. Whoop. Oh, not going for the scatter. Uh, no, because uh, he's got agility five around the corner, so it's a uh, two plus pickup. Yeah, I guess it could have gone into a worse spot, can't it? Yeah, exactly. Leave it where it is. I've got sure hands and agility five, and I can just go pick it up. Outrageous. Yeah, this, this is worse than a push, though. This is worse than a push, that's the thing. So, like, the, he didn't know he was going to power when he blitzed, did he? So, I think uh, I would have still sure. hit from that angle. Because he could have just... He was here, so he could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six. So, he could have... He could have he could have yeah, hit from here, enough. and then on a, on a pow, push him to there. But on a and push, on a scatter it. On a wrestle, it was fine as well because yeah. he was in a better place. Yeah, yeah better you're place probably right. Wrestle, yep. Yeah. So, yep. I still think I liked where the ball was because of the agility for your hands. Yeah, but I, I still like pushing from the, my the option. Yes, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I'm glad. Glad I was superior. <laughs> Are you still upset about me being right about animal savagery? No, never. <laughs> it's okay to be wrong sometimes, Jim. It's okay, like. 
I mean, I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still awaiting that day. <laughs> still awaiting, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, break tackle Ooh, does happen. Yeah. Rolls a one. No. Well, oh man. Do you need a three or something? Whatever he needed, oh, he didn't get. Yeah, he needed a three. He needed a three. Yeah. He didn't get it. That's rough. Oh, that it's a is. GFI afterwards as well, wasn't it? But yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's... this is uh, just just clean all of this up now, and uh, and hey, presto. Yep. Might even be nice to uh, have a go at the. Um, the killer. Yep. Kaboosh. Kaboosh. Gets Let's him. get him down. Yeah. Has he got anybody around to step on that prick? I can't afford to now he's down at 10 max. Oh, sure, yeah. Not even punching I mean, the zombie. I mean, if the loner was around, I'd probably step on his head, yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't. Like it's because mm -hmm. it's see I wouldn't because I know I'd get sent off mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'd be down to nine. Yeah, but you know if I was Rick, then I would know I wouldn't get sent off, so I'd totally do it. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd I'd step on that guy's head because I mean whatever you lose a loner, but the back like I'm probably gonna lose that loner anyway. I don't care about him and the option of being able to get rid of that guy who can remove my team. Is, uh, is such that I think the risk is worth it. But I mean, only if it was a worthwhile foul, which yeah. that wasn't. Plus, he'd get, he's got region as well, right? Which makes it worse. It does, yeah. yeah. But the good thing is, you're going to score and turn it of his drive, so he's only going to have one yeah. chance to get him back. Yeah. But he'll, okay, he'll do that to you all day, or, be, or worse. So, yeah. yeah. I think I, I can definitely see why I do it. Plus, there's the whole thing of variance, isn't there, and how much variance you need. And I guess, yeah. I guess the yeah. dark elves are about to be one 0 up on their opponent's yeah. drive, so don't need the variance. And he's probably going to daka. And if he doesn't get, if he's losing that guy, if that guy doesn't come back, and if one of the ghouls doesn't come back, then the daka is pretty spectacular, right? Mm. Well, I mean, I just wouldn't foul because I've definitely won almost, you know. And and like mm. fouling, fouling mm -hmm. is a way to lose at that point. You know, okay. In a way. I, yeah, I do. Yeah, no, I do. So it, it depends how you assess the equity and your sure. chances of winning and stuff. If, if like if you were really far behind, then yes, fouling this guy is a great play because it gives you a way back in. Yeah. But if you think you're ahead, then I like not then, fouling him. Yeah, don't don't foul. And I usually back on my like I usually back myself to uh, do all right, so I usually don't like fouling. <laughs> mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. that's that's usually probably incorrect, you know. Like I, because even if you are favoured, um, you know, if you're versus a thirty percent, you're obviously you're favoured. But you know, yeah. why 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 deny yourself the optimal plays just because you you know you're already ahead? Thing. So the in, the other interesting thing is like how that's going to change in the in Blood Bowl three, what with that guy not having piling on anymore, not being as much of a threat. I mean, he's still really scary because he's got mighty blow and tackle. Mm. But fouling is just such a great way of being able to get rid of players. So fouling becomes better overall. But that guy isn't as much of a threat overall, or is does he remain the same level of threat? I don't. He's know. a lot less threatening without panning on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To the point where I don't really care about bash teams. <laughs> to be honest. Well, I mean, Undead are still pretty great, because, I mean, you can dedicate one of the ghouls to be a, a dirty gate as well, right? I guess you could, yeah. Yeah, because you have, you have four of them, so there's no reason not to have one of them being a dirty gate. Mm. Especially when you've got four guard. Plus, you know, however many guard you want to take on your zombies. Yeah, I mean, you've got to foul the loner there, haven't you? Like, you, you've got 14 players and you're going 1 0 down on your, on your own drive. You have to foul. Like, that's the thing that the undead have to foul there. There's not, not a decision there. Don't say it's over! Even if they had, even if they, even if the undead had 11, I wouldn't mind them fouling because they're fucked. <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> like they've got to somehow come back. The ghoul doesn't come back. Like how do they, how do they turn this game around? I mean, there's not many players for that for the dark elves. Yeah, that's, two that's big elf the chaos. There is pretty massive for the for the dark elves. So what has he got? Eight. Yeah, eight. So eight yeah. is tricky. One of whom is a loner as well. So eight is tricky for the darker. But Daka, he will. 
he's still got I mean he's got an agility five with sure hands to pick up the ball he's got an agility five with um, leap to be the receiver mm. uh, this is so. the Brooklyn Brawler the wrestler um, the Brooklyn Brawler a very famous a very famous jobber they're called jobbers because they do the job and lose there you go Flux mm -hmm. Dream uh, wrestling uh, Flux Dream um, yeah What's his name with the with the big chin? What's his name? The well, he's a very he's a very famous he's a very he's famous jobber because they do the job of losing. That's why you've never heard of him. Yes. <laughs> but in wrestling, in res in wrestling aficionados, he's famous. But obviously, yes. he was not. He was never going to be. Uh, he was never going to be a superstar like the you know the Rock or Hulk Hogan or anything. Or, yeah. <laughs> But he's the guy that The Rock throws around every week and makes The Rock look really, really good. So he's yeah. a jobber. Yeah. Heath Slater? No, Heath... Heath yeah, Heath Slater, isn't it? A little bit. Yeah. Less that's so now. His, it's his, it was his shtick for ages. Because his shtick... He had a t-shirt saying, I've got kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, like, his job is to be the jobber. Yeah. He's got kids. Yeah. It's just it's just less so now, right? Now it's more 50-50 mm. booking all the time. There, there was a time when it was all local guys that came in and got shit on. <laughs> mm. And uh, and now... I think those were better times, honestly, because, you know, you had this, like the Steiner brothers winning, like, you know, a thousand matches in a row or whatever and Legion yeah, of Doom yeah. winning every single match. Whereas now they can't. So now the dominant teams aren't don't get to be dominant because they have to have 50-50 booking with the other all the other tag teams and everyone has to look strong and it's just weird nowadays but anyway that's a, a bit of a side tangent here <laughs> mm. the dark elves have lost nothing permanently apart from this witch uh you know apart nothing but it's not it's it's probably like one of the worst players on the team honestly like you know it hasn't lost the edge fives here mm -hmm. um they haven't got it's much actually to be was, fair the dark was, elves haven't got that much have they just a couple she's of she's three skill witch she was a nice witch but yeah she was decent actually because he hasn't got a lot he no. hasn't actually hasn't got a lot Interesting. That's why. That's why there was only fifty k for the undead. I guess the undead super TV efficient. Undead are just amazingly TV efficient in general, though, right? Yep. And, and why they're such a great team? Yeah, they are a just, great team. Uh, are they the best team out of the box? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Well, they're not lizards, I guess. Or wood elves. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I'd, I'd still, I'd still, I'd back undead. Out of the box, I'd back undead. Yeah. Number one. Likewise. Yeah. Undead number one. Mm-hmm. What is it, uh, Dimmy's thing? Uh, U-D-O-P? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, actually, Zons are pretty good as well at 1,000. Oh, for sure, yeah. <clears throat> Speaking of Dimmy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. He loves Zons, doesn't he? Yeah. Are we blitzing this guy? I yeah. think so. Yeah. Clever oh, Jeff. I shot a play, guys. Oh, yeah, three good. plus. Mm. But I mean, it was a real. It was really good if it worked, wasn't it? That was the thing. That was a three plus to win the game, yeah. basically. Yep. So I yep. like that. I like. I like that. Mankis went for that because you know, obviously, he recognises he's a little bit desperate here, down at seven players. Mm -hmm. um, roll for that three plus, and if you win, you basically get down the field and you get two nil. Yeah. And he still is this guy. Fuck the fucked off. And uh, has the uh, the relay piece with the agility five in the middle as well. So overall, this is all really great. Nice to put in the screen before he puts in this dodge as well, because the screen is already there, so you can afford to. Oh, that's not the screen I was. Oh, that's not the dodge I thought he was taking. <laughs> I would have taken the wrestle dodge first, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I guess the by keeping the wrestle on though, then in, well, no, because you just block him off anyway. I was going to mm -hmm. say you occupy the tackle, but not really. Is the is the ghoul in range? Is he out of range of the gal? Yep, he is. He is, yeah. A last a last move, Gal running all the way, like double GFIing would have been interesting, but again you don't mm. want to GFI, you just want to stand there. So he's gone for the relay character yeah. rather than GFI yeah. to hit the uh Rather than GFI to hit the scoring threat, I think I would have Mm-hmm. I think I would have taken this I mean you don't obviously you don't want to take away your 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 tackler. Oh, and he does have even on the push he was able to get the it was a nice three D on a lovely piece with mighty blow. And if he doesn't get him he's uh, he's he's making it hard for him to be the relay as well. That's true, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's still a, it's still a four, right? I mean you don't really need the relay with an edge five no, player, that's no, the problem. Because yeah. he couldn't do both. 
a bit like a bit like oh. uh, a bit like the game versus Rick. You just don't really need a relay when you've got the ball. You also can give it to this guy now. Probably should have mm -hmm. put another guy on him actually. Mm. But didn't. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Inter super interesting. I guess the yeah, the orcs. The orcs. Why did I say orcs? The mm. undead are very spread out, aren't they? So I guess mm. you know you can try and kill a few more turns here. Oh god, it's got to reroll this, hasn't it? Yeah, he does. And there's still some work to be done here as well. Yeah, you got to dodge this one off as well. Has to, yeah. And the guy in the top has to do the three two. Well, I mean, he doesn't have to, but he's just losing if he didn't make him both of these, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, sure, but I mean, get, not getting that guy back into the action is also tricky because he was just about to get two dice or wrestle up top, mm -hmm. and probably stood on. Wow, 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 wow. Mm. Hello, J5. Hey, J5, how's it going, buddy? Yep, indeed, indeed, man, because, yeah, I like I liked, I liked the going for the one deal on that white, recognising that, you know, you've mm -hmm. got a Daka because you're down men, but then you've got to go for the score to go 2 0 up as well. Oh, really yeah. nice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Were you here when we were laughing at your fucking mad ass uh, play at the start and the the chain push? <laughs> uh, it was uh, Aussie. Yeah. That killer has been pretty ineffective as well. Very Crystal Hunterish. Yeah. <laughs> it was nearly Thomas Tish, but it became Chunterish. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, really enjoyable. Good game so far. Mm. It is the name of the team, yeah. Speculative foul here. Oh, did have dirty player. Oh. Just run over here, yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, he can turn this into a turtle if he has to. Oh yeah. man, an That's instant reroll use. Like, yeah. No, not using the reroll. Oh, wow. Woo. Wowie wawa. Wowie wawa. <laughs> wow, wow. I suppose he's on um, DT, right? He's on, he's on, he's on sidestep DT at that. But he can fill all of these in, and then mm -hmm. hit the ball. Okay, he doesn't. Well, okay, so this is terrible. This is this is terrible, right? You've got this guy one, two, three, four, five, six. This guy three. This guy two. Block him. Is he on side? Has he got sidestep? Okay, so you can block him and try and free one of these first subtly, mm -hmm. and then and then hopefully you can and then you can fill that in, and then you can fill in all four of these. Then you're three dicing him, and then you can only go here or here, and then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI and hit him. Yeah. So I really like that. I think that was a mistake. And really, he should have been um, hit. Really, he should have been based by the guard ghoul first hit anyway. Our first action. I think that was. Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess you can argue. Yeah, just just do that. Problem is, if you do that, you've got no recovery. But I guess you don't need a recovery. You just need to pom this guy and then mm -hmm. and then foul him. You could maybe even foul him later, depending if you just pop that straight away. Yeah. Okay, so he's still got the hit on the ball, but without tackle. No tackle, and no piling on. And no yeah. hit on the ball because he had to, to double G a fine field. Them both. <laughs> So a bit unlucky in the end to have failed the two GFIs, but the situation that led up to it was um, circumspect. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, like, he's got a bit of cover if it doesn't work and stuff, like, by doing it this way, you know, like, he's tagging mm -hmm. that guy, he's got the strength all over here, so there is payoff to it. But I think you just make this block first, see what happens, yeah. and then based on that, decides whether you uh, get down and fill all the squares. Because I really like filling all the squares to hit this yep. guy with tackle. Yeah. And now, uh, but I'm not they, going uh, for that. This, that blitzer, halfway up the pitch there, has been fucking 3 plus 2 plusing like there's no tomorrow all day long. <laughs> he has, yeah. Which is really cool, but... Um, yeah. Annoying like the, for Diamed, no doubt. Really annoying for Diamed, but the, it, it's when he's been doing them has been really, like, it's, it's fine for him to do them when he's doing them. So the, the ordering has been really, really effective. Hello, oh, Jack Bull. Yep, the glorious man gives me throttle. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, K 
can you see the chain? <laughs> great team, man. And He's went great. for the chain as well. Lovely chain. He has done some great yeah. chains and chalices, man, kids. Yeah, he has, yeah. Remember famously that game he was absolutely diced the shit out of with his um, uh, chaos a uh, couple of seasons back and the chain in it was absolutely glorious. We, we didn't really know what was going on until all of a sudden it was finished and we were like, that was fucking amazing. Like, he's still lost, but it was amazing. Yeah. Dimmy told him himself, didn't he? <laughs> he did, yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, that's really funny. Uh, <laughs> that was one of the first of the um, uh, many heads of uh, King Ghidorah. Um, it was, yeah. yeah. Oh no, knockdown, but yep, can't afford a reroll. Nope. But looks like so, we're gonna try and just hang on for the one nil now anyway, you know, I think yeah, thoughts of the two are, two are gone. Mm hmm Tagging him for the break tackle. Mm hmm With the three two. Yeah, he never fails to see this splitter. Right? That's pretty nice to tag that guy out as well. Ooh. Up hill as well with Russell. Ooh. And you can just keep him there as well. Sandwich, yeah, that was really yeah. nice. Really nice oh, player there from Manco. Really, really nice. Yeah. Deal with a tackler. Mm hmm. Yeah, I can imagine Diem getting fierce. Oh, uh, going for the double. So, yeah. Large. So, he, what he did was he he, did, yeah. he does that, and if he'd rolled a five or a six, he would have made yeah. the extra dodge in. Yeah, really yeah, nice. Much. Yeah, it's cool. Very cool. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Wow, that's I mean that's not like Barry Sanders J five. Barry Sanders is run is run <laughs> is run back five yards, then run side to side ten yards, then run forward ten yards. Um <laughs> you know, Barry Sanders did make a lot of progress actually. I think he averaged about five yards per carry, didn't he? Which is pretty incredible when you have absolutely zero zero fucking offensive line. He might even like have the highest average yards per carry of all time, Barry Sanders. Wouldn't be surprised. Oh. Ugh. Huh. Well, gets the stun from it, but um, was it worth his uh, second last reroll in overtime? I think you've got to get to overtime. That's the thing. He's losing 1 0. <laughs> so. He does have three turns versus two. Like this is really tricky to get this safe. Well, he's got edge five, so he's, oh, just, yeah. gonna, he's just gonna he's fuck got edge off. Five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a dickhead! Just hoof. Ooh. Hoof. Yeah, there's nobody up there. Apart from this guy, we all forgot about. Oh wait, no. No. no, no, no. <laughs> Don't go pick it up with a zombie. Oh, no sidestep on this fella. Oh, <laughs> the ultimate punishment. Not and dodging the show hands out five yet. Yeah, doesn't good doesn't do it yet, but yeah. Good point, man, kids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, should have got him at first. Because when you punt it is the end of your turn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But now the Pomba can go and get the ball, can he? He can. It's an old uh no GFI, isn't it? Or is mm. he in range? Yeah, GFI. So and yeah, there's the surf. So not surf only, oh surf. wow, and he's got cast as well. Oh, and from too short, yeah. Oh, got away with that. Phew. Phew. I mean, maybe he could still lose in overtime because of it, but mm. uh, yeah, should have should have gone like full long bomb probably. Because you got the reroll, you, obviously you commit the reroll to it and just mm -hmm. put it as far as you can. Yeah. Oof. yeah, this is really tricky. Got the ball. Yeah. And also now if the other edge five is up the field like here or whatever, then you've got yeah. 2D on the ball to get it back as well. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oof. The Dubai schools obviously can't re-roll yeah. that. I no. mean, even if... Even if, uh, even even if, if he, he had, had a re-roll. Re yeah, sure. Yeah. He couldn't, yeah. <laughs> uh, so how many scoring threats have we got? Uh, I mean, real, real scoring threats. Uh, the two mummies. <laughs> this guy is in range? Yeah, yeah, this white, yeah, strength yeah, 4 yeah, white. Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the Wigget. Oh god. And and this Gowl. Ooh. Went for the Gowl. Puts oh, the reroll against the full bow! Unbelievable. 
Ah. And then put um, the sidestep on Oh, there. lovely. Cool, 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 cool. There is this one as well, but this one would have to get thrown to the end zone and he's got no yeah. rerolls. Yeah. So I guess you you blitz him to uh, to see if you can free the strength for white and then mm -hmm. block him as well. He's really hard actually for strength for white. Probably just gotta lob it to the probably just gotta lob it to the gal. Yeah, I'm putting in the bubble box, which is pretty good uh, practice. Yep. Yeah. And uh, straight yeah, into the lob. Straight, straight for the hoof. Get your lob on. Ooh. Doesn't get intercepted. So oh my no. god. Oh, oh he failed the catch. Oh, there it goes out. Dice made the pass though. Yeah, Five plus pass. Good. I heard you can only make the pass with a dedicated thrower as well. It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! What a great wow. game, Jim. Yeah, great game. If only, if only Diamond had kept a reroll here eh, in that in that half somehow. I don't know what he could have not done, but um, does that, does that say one armor break? It does. Yeah, he didn't make a lot of blocks, did he? No, he did twenty-two. He did make a lot of blocks. blocks. Did make a lot of blocks. With well, the uh, one armor break was on the ad for Google, wasn't it? Like the first block of the match. <laughs> it was literally the first the block of the match. Yeah, who didn't yeah. come back? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, so yeah, a bit unlucky there. A bit unlucky with twenty-two blocks. Um, but it was a great, it was a great removal. You see, it was the first, like it was one arm break, but it was the first one, and, and it was a key player that never came back. So there you go. Funny, isn't it? Funny how dice work. Um, but there you go. Yeah, great game anyway. Congratulations to Mankiz. Commiserations to Diamed. Thank you very much, Kalon. Been glorious to have you in the booth. Oh, thanks, Jim. Great to be here. Oh, lovely. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.